Hey everyone, Mike here from Blender Noobs, and today we're going to go over a really simple, quick, but extremely powerful trick, and it's a pass uh, that you can do right out of Blender that will make your life a lot easier, especially in the compositing stage. So today we're going to go over a matte pass. So what is a matte pass? Well, a matte pass, which is also kind of called a clown pass, that is a render that has uh, that has each object as a different, very vibrant color. So, uh, so in this case, you can see that I have an animation that is just a simple push in. Now, this is a video, but we're going to be rendering out PNG files. But this kind of pass allows you to really easily mat out different parts of an object um, within After Effects, within your uh, compositor of choice. So I tend to use After Effects. This helps me out a ton. And so what this can do for you, this allows you to um, take out certain parts, to add effects to certain areas. So in this case, within uh, my animation, I actually added a map pass to um, the screen to have a backlit version so that it seems more realistic. And what's so great is that when, um, when I needed to do this, the map pass allowed me to key out everything but the screen, make it into a simple uh, mat that I can do glow effects, um, like and all that kind of stuff to it. But what's really powerful about this is that you can see that it will mat out the other areas so that you're not having to hand key or hand rotoscope out different sections. So you can see that this is the backlit area. So with that being said, let's figure out or let's let me show you how to actually create this really simple map pass. So um, I'm not going to be using the compositor for this. It's going to be really simple within the viewport. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you set up your scene to where you have what you want to be matted out. So in this case, I don't have a background. I don't have uh, like any of the other environment objects. I just have the Game Boy that I modeled. So you can see here's the, the, the push in. Very simple. So currently we are in the EV render engine. So we're actually going to change the render engine to Workbench, which gets you your your simple um, solid looking layer. Then we're going to change the view to flat. And you're going to want to remove any other features. You want this to be completely flat, one color. So if we go to the render engine, we have flat. So this is where it gets really, really powerful. So if you go to the color, you want that to be random. So Blender is going to assign random colors to each part of your object. So that's what we want. Then what you'll want to do is go to rendered. And as you can see, there are colors for every part but it's kind of washed out. So to fix that, you go to your color management, then you go to use curves. And as you can see, I've already um, worked the curves. So let's actually reset this. So here's the default curve. So it looks the same, but then what you can do is really crank it up. To where those colors really start to pop. So you can see a blue, you have a red, you got a green. So now that we have this, we can render out a preview animation with the map pass, which will help you in your compositing. Now, I did make a whole video on how to, uh, to output a preview animation. So we're going to kind of do that again today, but you can watch that video for more information on that. So what we're going to do though, is we're going to go to the output 
put your output location where you want it. But with map passes, I always change the file format to PNG because I also because I also want the alpha information. Um, plus, I want to have I, I want to have each frame be its own so that I can bring that into After Effects. Um, plus, it's plus it's a higher quality than just a preview MP4 video. Um, with the color, I'm, I'm going to want the alpha. So you want RGBA, PNG. Um, okay, looks like we are good there. So then what you'll want to do is go to View, and you want to go to View Render Animation. That's going to quickly go through and generate your map pass. And then if we look at the output, here is the video I made, but you can see that it um, has in sequence the map pass. So now you can bring this into After Effects and you can start using it to modify your animation how you want or your render with different effects very easily, very quickly, and it is extremely powerful. All right, that is how you render out a very simple mapped um, pass. It's going to be used. Uh, this, this is something that I use all the time for my renders and for my animations, and it's uh, really powerful. So definitely use it. Definitely try it, and let me know if you, if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much.